Hey there, um, it is super late here for me and uh, my whole family is sleeping, but I wanted to show you, um, if you can see it, my screen is really fuzzy, so I'm hoping this comes out okay. Um, I just wanted to show you a real quick jam berry removal technique using just some vegetable cooking oil. This is a uh, soybean oil, but you can use anything, olive oil, coconut oil, anything you have lying around that you cook with. Um, I just have it in a little Tupperware container super easy. Um, so I'm going to show you that in case you don't have our amazing wrap and locker remover. Um, that's my absolute favorite removal technique. But um, So I'm going to use my Jamberry mini heater. You can use a blow dryer. I have obviously my oil um, and then I'm going to use a little makeup brush. So hopefully this will go quickly. Um, I have a nail that I messed up the application on. I've been doing Jamberry for two years. Two. Count them. One, two, two years, and um, I screwed up this application, this thumb application. I went to pull one of the um, edges to really um, get a bubble out, and I forgot that I was working on my thumb. And it takes almost a full half wrap for me to do my thumbnail. So when I grabbed it on the corner with my fingers, <laughs> whoops, so I didn't get a very good seal, so it's all bumpy, so I'm going to take it off. And probably use some of our Beach Police Polish Color Pop this month. It's so great. Um, all right, I'm, I've spent a minute and 30 seconds babbling already. Let's move on, Stephanie. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is dig a nail under the side and kind of work up a little bit on the edge. So it's just peeling up a little tiny bit. And, oh, yeah, you can see that crease real well. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Actually, I'm going to do a little mini heater first on that. Sorry for my sniffles. Like I said, it's really late and I always get sniffly at night. I don't know what it's about. So I'm just going to use a little bit of heat. Kind of loosen that up a little bit, especially around the edges, towards my cuticle and on the sides. And I'm going to peel up a little bit around the edge. Take that seal all the way around. So I just have a little tiny bit lifted all the way around the edges. You can see a little bit lifting here, a little bit lifting here, and a little bit around the cuticle. And that's it, just that much. You don't want to feel any more than that because you'll do damage to your nail. So the next thing I'm going to do, shut off my mini heater, is I'm going to stick my thumb right in that oil and let it kind of work its way in for a second. A little higher than I'd like it to be, but this edge. I'm going to take my makeup brush. Dip that in the oil. I'm actually going to take my thumb out of there, I think. I'm brushing some of the, actually, it may be sort of here. I'm brushing some of the excess oil. Tilt this down a little bit. So, brushing some of the excess oil off of my thumb so it can get it all over everything. And then I'm just going to take this makeup brush and work it under the wrap, wiggling it just very lightly from side to side. It's nice and gushy. And you can see that wrap starting to lift a little bit. That oil is dissolving in the adhesive, but I am not peeling it and I'm not pushing it, so I'm not trying to make it go too quickly. Um, I want to really break that seal down with the oil before I take it up. And I will say that this is a lot easier to do with the wrap and locker remover. Um, you should also be able to do it with acetone polish remover, um, like 100% pure acetone. Um, but that can be a little drying to your nails. So if you're having trouble with your nails, this is the way to go. It'll take a little time. But your nails will be really, really, really well hydrated when they're all done. And you shouldn't have any damage if you go really slowly. So you can see I'm about probably a third of the way through. And I'll just kind of wiggle back and forth. Sometimes I like to hold the wrap down so you're really getting that oil in where it needs to go. And it's not, it kind of holds the bristles in place. 
can also use a smaller brush, like a little kid's paintbrush is good. Um, I actually might accost one of my daughter's watercolor brushes because I figure she doesn't need a lot of those, right? She doesn't need all of them. Every time she buys a new paint set, she gets a new brush. Um, you can also stick some oil in one of the cuticle ends. You can refill it with just some regular cooking oil for removal, the removal process. You can see I've been at this like probably three minutes now just from the thumbnail. So like it is going to take a little bit of time to do it this way. But you're way better off doing this than peeling those rocks up. And this just goes to show you how well these rocks really adhere to your nails. It's dropping. Oh, I think it's actually just a drip of oil. <laughs> Dropped into my bowl. So I'm about halfway done. And my nail underneath is like super clean. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like well hydrated. Nothing, no residue left on it. It's just really, really good condition. So even though it's taking a long time, and you can always stick your thumb back in your oil if you want to get a little more on there, give it a little more time to work its way through. I don't like to soak it for a long time and be patient. It might work out better if you soaked it longer. I don't really know. I don't, I don't, I don't have the patience I need to just sit and wait for it. You can also score it a little bit across the top if you're feeling brave. I don't personally recommend that though because, you know, I would probably cut myself. So I didn't tell you to do that. There. You always want to go, there. here's the other piece of it, you always want to go from side to side and never front to back or back to front. Um, your nail is stronger from side to side so it's less likely to peel up and be damaged if you go that way. If you're peeling from top to bottom, like tip to cuticle or cuticle to tip, you're more likely to, um, to damage your nails. So definitely side to side, that's another key piece of it. Oof, coming on seven minutes here. Eight minutes. Sorry, ladies. And gentlemen, I'm a judge. So you'll see this, this removal process is going to take you a little bit of time. And that's okay. I feel like I'm about two-thirds of the way through now all that free and just that little bit left to to remove place that wrap back down again and just keep on wiggling that brush keep on wiggling um, I've seen some people use the dental flossers to have like just one little piece of floss and a little plastic edge that it's connected to you can use those too I've done that in the past um, I just, I like the brush method a little bit better. I feel like it's a little more gentle. So again, if you have damage that you're trying to repair, um, I would definitely go with the brush over the floss, but floss is also a possibility. <gasps> Ooh, look at all the stuff I can feel it. It's about to come off, you guys, you guys, it's about to come off. The anticipation's killing me. Look at that. Almost done. So close. So close. Only 10 minutes, including all of my babbling. I'm almost free, you guys. <gasps> Freedom! There's a little bit of residue left on that side. But you can use, um, you don't have to oil that up. You can just, um, I mean, you can. I just kind of rubbed it with my finger and it came off with the oil. So, and then you can rub the oil into your nail a little bit for some extra hydration. That's always good too. 
so you can see, I think you can see, it's really dark in here because it's so late, but um, I don't have any damage to that nail at all. It came off in one whole piece, just like that. Ta-da! It's lovely. And I'm well hydrated. I have oil like all over my fingers, so I'll probably end up just rubbing that in and, um, and enjoying that little bit of extra hydration tonight. So that's the oil removal process. I hope it was helpful. And um, let me know if you have any questions. All right. Mwah. Bye. Oh, soybean oil. <laughs> Bye.